This is, uh, these are real books, and they're sent in from our viewers. This comes from Jill Sousa from Fall River, Massachusetts. She says, someone donated this book to our local book drive, and we tried to sell it for 50 cents. Nobody bought it. And it's Melanie's Marvelous Measles. <laughs> You can imagine how excited she gets when she gets a ringworm. <laughs> Here's one. This is from Erica Burns from Toronto, Canada. My mom had this book in her house, so I secretly stole it, and I'm letting you have it. And it's called Making Puppets Come Alive. <laughs> and it looks really creepy. <laughs> so I thought I'd look inside and see if it looked better, and nope. It says, uh, it's, you know, I was wondering why they had wrenches and hatchets, and it says, the puppet uh, need not even resemble a human being. An old dusty cloth, a feather boa, or a pair of bare hands operated by a skilled puppeteer can be just as alive and real to an audience as any human actor. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Why are you moving when I'm talking? <laughs> You shut up. What? You shut up. <laughs> and it's written by my nightmares. Um, <laughs> this is from Sarah Hicks from uh, Nashua, New Hampshire. This book was a favorite of mine growing up. But now that I'm older, I realize there's something a little off with the title. And this one is called The Amazing Bone. <laughs> I mean, it seems short to me. I don't know. It seems... I'm no expert, but it's, it doesn't. Thanks for sending those in. If you have a book you think I should see, please send it to me. We'll be right back.